Hey everyone, it's Jason from Rockland Technologies and today we're going to show you the easiest way to get Kali Linux installed on VMware. We're also going to be installing the Alpha AWUS 036 ACH long range Wi-Fi USB adapter when we're finished. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is head on over to Google and look for VMware 16 player so we can download VMware Workstation Player 16. We're going to get that downloaded. We're not going to show you how to go through the setup wizard and get that installed. It's pretty easy to do. You just open the download when you're done and follow the on-screen steps. And once you've got the VMware player downloaded, we're going to come back in to Google and this time we're going to look for uh, Kali's download page, kali.org forward slash downloads. We're going to scroll past the general downloads here and look for Kali virtual machines. We're going to download the Kali Linux VMware image. This is a real cool file that allows us to open it up directly in VMware so we don't actually have to do a full Kali install ourselves. Super easy. Now the download may take some time on your computer, but we've sped it up for our purposes. Once you open it up, you'll see it's a 7Z file. If you do not already have a tool on your Microsoft Windows computer to open that, you can simply go into the Microsoft Store, which is what we're going to do on this computer here. And we are actually going to download this program called Breezip. That way we can do the extraction. If you already have an extractor on your computer, you can just go ahead and extract the files and move on to the next step of the video. We're going to show you real quickly how to install Breezip so we can open up the extracted file and uh, get that ready to go. If you're following along with us installing Breezip, this process is going to take longer for you. We did speed up the percentages here for the sake of time in this video. Uh, it may take a little while to extract on your computer. So there it is. Now we've completed the installation of VMware and we've got our Kali VMware image file downloaded. Let's go ahead and boot up and see if it was as easy as we thought it would be. And we are going to go open a virtual machine. We already have the virtual machine downloaded from the Kali website, so we're going to go ahead and open that up right now. You just need to navigate to where you extracted the image file on your computer. And now we're going to go down here and click where it says play virtual machine. That's going to allow us to open up the image file. And what do we have? Oh, we have an error. Now, we actually left this error up because this is semi-common, we found out. So we want to show you how to go in the BIOS and fix this. This is an error that as you read it, you, if you encounter this, you'll just, it's a simple fix in the BIOS. If you do not encounter this error, you can skip on ahead in the video. And those things sometimes happen. The good news is after a quick Google search on this error, we figured out we just need to go into the BIOS, just like the error suggests, and make a quick tweak. So we're going to do that. Let's show you the image up on the screen. We can't do a screen recording from inside the BIOS, but we've got the image up on the screen. What we did, if you do not have the same BIOS we do, we're using an HP uh, desktop computer. If you have a different BIOS, you may need to Google to figure out how to get into your BIOS and make the same change. Once you've done that, you can reboot back into Microsoft Windows, and we'll pick it up from there. So we're back here in Microsoft Windows and we're going to go ahead and open our VMware Workstation 16 player. And before we load our Kali image, we're actually going to go into the settings. Now you can do a lot of things in the settings area. Uh, you can change your memory size, you can adjust your hard disk size, but uh, we're not going to do any of that. We're going to keep the defaults, but we are going to change the USB controller setting from USB 2 to USB 3.1 because this is a USB 3 Wi-Fi adapter, the uh, AWUS 036 ACH, which we're about to install here in Kali for you. Uh, so we'll make that change and we'll go ahead and load our Kali VMware image file. Now, uh, it's going to take a few minutes on your computer, so at this point we're going to skip ahead to where you get to the login screen. Now the default username and password for Kali is Kali, so we'll put in Kali for the username and also Kali for the password. 
And once we get logged in, we've got to do the driver installation for the AWUS036ACH. We're going to do that first. We're actually not going to do it in this video because we have another video that shows you how. So we're going to put up on the screen right now uh, how to see that video or what commands you need to run. And then we're going to come back and show you the final settings change we need to make. All right, so we've got VMware installed. We're now having a, we now have our Kali VMware image up and running. But the problem is when we run LSUSB, we can see the device, but we don't yet have the driver installed, so it's not being recognized by Kali Linux. So we're going to go ahead and do a driver install right now. And then it's very important at the end of the driver install, you're going to see we still can't detect the adapter. We've got to restart the Kali environment in VMware to get that fixed. If you want to see a full walkthrough of the driver installation, head on over to YouTube. I'll use this short link on the screen and we'll have a full walkthrough up there for you. Uh, we're not going to do it here in this video in the interest of time since we've already done it in that video. Uh, if you'd like to try it without a walkthrough video, you're basically going to run these four commands that you see on the screen now. You run these four commands in order. That should install the driver for you and then you can plug your AWUS036ACH into the computer and we'll pick it up from there. Now when we're back in the virtual machine, we need to take one more step here. Uh, if you go into terminal and you run LSUSB, you're going to see that the device is not detected. Our alpha based, uh, real tech based alpha device is not detected. Uh, so what we've got to do is we've got to actually connect the device to the Kali image. So we go here to removable devices, we go to real tech 802.11.ic, we click connect and we click on OK and what that does is that disassociates it with the host computer with the Windows 10 operating system and it associates it with your Kali image your VMware file here and if we type LSUSB again we'll see the Realtek device show up this time and there it is so we've connected it to the machine virtually and now in your case you're going to need to restart most likely you'll need to restart your Kali uh, install. We can already see wireless networks. If you cannot see wireless networks, that's usually pretty normal after doing this. What you're going to want to do is click up here and go down to restart. Uh, our system has been restarted a couple of times as we set this up, so we're just going to click on cancel. When your system comes back up from restart, you can click up here and connect to a wireless network with your alpha device. and simply enter the password when prompted. And that completes the installation of the Alpha AWUS036H on your Kali virtual machine in VMware. Okay, so the process wasn't quite as easy as we said because we had a little bit of a bio snag and we had to do some uh, updates on our brand new install for the drivers, but we got the drivers loaded for the Alpha adapter. Our environment's good to go. We're up and connected to wireless networks, so everything was a success. Thank you for watching and please check out our Rockland SuperTech YouTube channel for more videos about Kali Linux and Alpha Wi-Fi adapters.